These are some onions being grown organically at the agriculture experiment station. Uh, and these are some tomatoes being grown with organic matter. And these pictures I show you so you can see some of the effects of organic matter on the soil. Here you can see on the left, 0% uh, organic matter in Alonso clay, 5, 10, and 15% organic matter uh, in Alonso clay. These are, these are very controlled experiments. Um, and the compost we use is high in nutrient value because it comes from it comes from coffee pulp. These are not necessarily the typical effects you're going to see, but uh, these are the effects that you can see when you also have a high nutrient value compost, okay, and humic acids. Uh, we did that in different soils. This is fraternidad clay with the same treatments, and you can see. A little bit uh, more growth on the 0%, but you can also see the plant is a lot more yellow or chlorotic. Uh, so here you can see the effects, and I, I'm showing you this. So you so you put that organic matter back to the soil because it's very important for sustainability. Okay, these are grown all grow, plants grown at the same time, and uh, we also look at what is called the bricks of all these materials, of all the tomatoes grown here. Uh, bricks is the concentration of, of sugars in the tomatoes. And for example, on the left side, you're going to see bricks anywhere from two to three. And once you increase your organic material, you're going to see increasing bricks. As, and on, if you look at 100% uh, organic matter compost, you're going to look at bricks anywhere between seven uh, and 11. So basically, you would need to eat two to three times uh, uh, or two to three tomatoes on the left side to get the nutrient value of your tomatoes on the right side. So again, you should incorporate the organic matter into the soil and you should compost. Here we see the effects of compost. Uh, very refined uh, coffee pulp compost on grass and you're seeing two effects here you see that on the right side we added the compost is a lot more green you see a flush of growth on the left side you see more brown stuff so on the right side you see a flush of growth and decomposition of the dead organic matter because you have an inoculant of mi microorganisms whereas on the left side you don't see that decomposition so let's go back to the process and uh, have a summary. We have the organic matter, the browns and the greens that you mix. You shred them. You decompose them through the composting process. You screen the material out. The large part you put back into the composting process. You use the finished compost in your garden and whatever you grow in your garden and the organic matter you put back into your composting and into your process. And if you look at this arrow here, in your garden things are happening. You're sinking material there, you are building organic matter and humic acids that are going to provide sustainability. Okay, So that is very important. You have a cyclic process here and you're sinking your material and your carbon that will provide you with sustainability. Okay, if you live in an apartment, try to compost with neighbors or vermicompost, which is the use of worms to uh, compost uh, or vermicompost your material to eat your organic matter. Or, you know, use the food disposal, which is a little bit better than sending that material to the landfill. Okay, it's not that it's, you know, a lot better, but it's a little bit better <laughs> than sending the material to the landfill. Okay, now. These are, uh, this is a good reference. I don't personally know the authors, but it's a very good book. It has a lot of pictures and it has a very good tips. You can get it at acresusa.com. Uh, and uh, many thanks. Uh, please write your questions in YouTube for all to see and share. Uh, this is YouTube Composta PR. My email, if you have to contact me for other reasons, uh, is here. But uh, I like, you know, any question is very good. I receive some questions uh, and I like to answer them so everybody can compost. Okay. I hope you have learned something and uh, please share your comments. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.